The emotional impact of the isolation resulting from COVID-19 is far-reaching and can lead to loneliness and the need for connection, particularly when coupled with the fear and the uncertainty of these times. Many people are feeling these impacts, but for kidney patients who are often at higher risk for developing severe complications of COVID-19 and more likely to be isolated, a good old-fashioned phone call from someone who gets it can be crucial. To help kidney patients' emotional and mental well-being, the Kidney Foundation launched a new initiative called Kidney Community Call. The Foundation supports its volunteers to connect with patients through friendly, confidential phone calls. The primary purpose of the call is to ask patients how they are doing, how they are coping, and to provide a warm, friendly voice and a listening ear. Since the launch of the Kidney Community Calls in May of 2020, the response to the initiative has been tremendous. Volunteers are actively making calls across BC and the Yukon, and this includes Vivian Short. She's one of those volunteers who's been busy reaching out to kidney patients in communities across BC. And she's heard firsthand the difference a phone call can make. But she also told me that as a volunteer, she gets just as much, if not more, from making those calls. So Vivian, can you talk a little bit about what inspired you to get involved in the Kidney Community Call? Well, I've been a volunteer with the Kidney Foundation for about five years, and I have made some very close friends, kidney friends, and we had started meeting for lunch in a park nearby in the spring and talked about how isolating this COVID-19 was going to be for everyone, especially with pe for people with chronic illnesses. So when I heard about the community check-in calls, um, I thought this is a great opportunity to connect with people. And as COVID-19 continues, people are less likely to be able to get out of their homes, elderly people, um, people whose lifeline is dialysis, they are becoming more and more isolated and how wonderful it was it, it is to just be able to connect with some of those people and let them know that someone is thinking about them. So Vivian, can you talk about the reaction from some of the kidney patients when you made the call, a call that really was, as you said, a friendly, a friendly check-in? How, how did the patients respond? Well, they were very, very surprised. Um, you could tell in people's voices how hesitant they were. Um, they thought I was a scam or I wanted something from them. So then it was really refreshing after a few minutes when they realized that I, I was calling from a big organization like the Kidney Foundation just to check up on them then they really started to warm up. They were still a little bit in disbelief, but they were so appreciative and they kept saying, you're just calling to see how I'm doing? And then they'd, they'd open up and, and we could have a conversation. I think people have a view of big corporations or organizations that they're like some bureaucracy somewhere, but to actually connect with something that's such a great resource and and it does want to actually be in the grassroots of of meeting those patients they're they're totally in shock so um how are they coping how are how are people coping i think that was in the summer and people seem to be coping well um, some of my returning calls, people are, you notice how people are getting COVID fatigue. Through those calls, I was able to tell people about the support and resources that are available to them through the Kidney Foundation, and some people have followed up on that. Uh, so that's good to know, um, because I'm just phoning as a friendly, supportive voice. I'm not giving out medical expertise or anything but I can connect people to the Kidney Foundation and a lot of those people hadn't realized um, resources that were available to them. So I think they overall like well by now people have sort of settled in for the long haul um, so I come I think it 
comes in, in waves where I think people are settling in now, but not that that makes it any easier. And people are very isolated. Did anything surprise you from the calls that you were making, Vivian? Were there any topics that people really wanted to talk about? Well, after people got over the initial surprise of someone just phoning as a support and to see how they were doing, then it took a, a bit of time before they warmed up. And then once they warmed up, they wanted to talk about everything. They were talking about their daily routines and how they were coping, their trips to dialysis. Um, it was very refreshing. They were telling me, you know, what kind of support they got from their family and friends, um, just anything and everything. So you could just tell how great it was for them to have someone calling and someone just to have someone to talk to. You're creating um, some great new um, kidney friends, I think, uh, during this process, aren't you? You've made some new kidney friends, maybe I should say. Yes, yeah, so that connection and, and then to follow up with some of those people. Some people didn't feel they, they wanted to follow up, but other people were very interested in, in continuing those calls um, as a matter of support and just to have someone to talk to. So it's, it's a great initiative.